Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and finally iOS 16 is here and it brings a ton of new features and changes and among them the new lock screen which now offers a lock screen widgets. So in this video, I will show you guys some of the best lock screen widgets that you can get for your iOS 16 device right now. Now, before we get into all that, just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you like the videos and you want to see more iOS 16 videos, please make sure to subscribe. That really helps out a lot. And let's get things started with power to you. Now, power to you is an app that allows you to have the battery percentage of all of your devices on your iPhone and in this case on the lock screen. Now this is different from the default battery widget of iOS because it allows you to have the battery percentages from all the devices you have connected to your iCloud account as long as you have the app installed on those devices. So you can have your Apple Watch, your MacBook, your iPad or other iPhones and they don't have to be connected via Bluetooth to your iPhone. You just need to have them on your iCloud. So you can see right here, you can just go ahead and add the widget from power to you. And once you have done that, from here, you can just go ahead and pick whichever device you want to display on that widget. So you tap to add the widget, you can add up to four widgets, then you tap again here and you'll have a list of your devices and you can choose which device you will display there. The next app for the video is Usage. This is a well-known app that offers amazing home screen widgets and now it also offers lock screen widgets. So you can have here the RAM memory of your device or the disk usage or your data. Now the way it works, of course, you just go ahead and go to the customize section here. You tap there and you choose what you want to see. Here we have usage and of course it has some really cool options. You will have your data interval limit, you will have your data period, you will have your memory and you will also have your storage. Now the good thing is that it also offers bigger widgets and also smaller widgets for each of the options. But not that's not all of course you can also add widgets at the top. So the inline widgets right there, tab there and you just find usage and you will have a few options here. So you will have your memory, you can add it right there, your storage or the devices up time. Simply tap here and add them at the top of the widgets. Lockflow is up next. This widget will allow you to run shortcuts directly from the lock screen. So here I have a few of those. I can just tap on one of them and it will run that shortcut. The way it works, once you have Lockflow installed on your device, it will ask you to install this shortcut. So everything is done through the app. Just follow the simple steps. And this shortcut, once it's installed on your device, make sure you run it once and it allows you to import all the other shortcuts and then of course you will have them on the lock screen of your device so right here what you can do is of course just add the widgets there and then just tap on one of the widget it will show you the list of the shortcuts that you have on your device so you can pick whichever one you want to display there you can have any shortcut you want on your lock screen Hello Weather is the next app for the video. This is also a very popular weather app and now it offers lock screen widgets. And this one right here is one of my favorite widgets, the hourly forecast, which is really cool. And you will have the temperatures, the highs and the lows, and then you will have the current condition as well. So going into the customized section, you can see what we have right here from Hello Weather. You go here, you will have the temperatures, condition, current conditions, and then you will have the hourly forecast as well. What I like about this is that you can also add an inline widget. So you tap right there at the date and find here, hello weather, and you can add the current conditions right there at the top of the lock screen. Next up is Subtrack. Subtrack is an app that will allow to track your subscriptions. Like nowadays, most of the apps will offer you subscriptions like I have here Spotify, YouTube, so you can have them on the lock screen and it shows you the days until you have to pay for that subscription. So you can see right here, if we just go into the app, you can add your subscriptions here, add tags to them. And then of course you can use those tags to filter those on the lock screen. So if you go to the lock screen and you go to customize this, you can see the options that we have from this app. So let's just find Subtract here. So here we have Subtract. If we add a widget here, you can tap on it and it gives you options. You can go ahead and filter them by tag or show the most like current one that you have to pay first or you can use colors or filter them by tag. So choose whatever you want and then you will display the subscriptions that you want 
on the lock screen and of course all the time you will be you will actually notice here which one you have to pay it will show you here the icon of the app as well as how many days are left until you have to pay for that subscription next up is parcel this is also a very known app that allows you to track your packages now right here i have just like an example i don't have any packages tracking right here but what you will find on this app is two different widgets so you will have the smaller one and you will have the bigger one as well so tapping there and you can go to, to parcel right here you will have your deliveries so you can add each of these and of course once you have added one of these you can just go ahead and pick which package you want to track on your lock screen of course as long as you have multiple packages tracking on the app and then you will have also here different options so widget opens you can choose what you open when you tap the widget you can open that package or you can just open the app so you can actually edit the action right there as well launchify is the next app for the video now this app will let you launch any app you want directly from the lock screen of your device now the free version of the app will only let you do that for two apps so you can only add two widgets but it works really well you tap on it and it just goes straight straight into the app the first time you tap there it will redirect you through the app and then once you just give access to open the other app it will just go straight to the app just like it did right here on twitter now when you go to launchify what you can do here is tap the plus button and from here let me just delete one here you tap the plus button and you can just search for any app you want and then just go ahead and add it right there so this is what you will see you will have to add an icon you tap on app and just search for the icon and the app will find the actual icon of the app and you can just have it on your lock screen now when you go to the lock screen what you can do here is of course go to customize and then from here you can pick the app that you want to see on that widget so you tap like this and just choose from the list of the apps that you have within launchify next up is contacts widgets this one is pretty cool as well it lets you have your contacts right on the lock screen of your device so if i tap on one of the contacts i can go ahead and maybe message them or just make a call this is pretty cool you will have to first open the app and of course configure contacts to add the contacts to your lock screen you just open the app tap on create widget and just choose any contact that you have on your ios device once you have done that you can add two contacts for free and for the other ones you have to pay if you want to have more than two you can then just go ahead and add them right here so just go to contacts widgets and just choose widget one widget two or widget three so as i said with the free option you only have two different contacts with the paid version you will have three different ones you can have them on the bigger or on the smaller widget on your lock screen countdown widget is the next one it allows us to have countdowns right on the lock screen of your device this might be very very useful in a lot of cases if you have something that is happening and you want to keep track of it all the time no better place than having it on your lock screen so you go to customize it of course you go here and then you find countdown widget and you will have bigger and the smaller ones once you have added it you can just go ahead and tap again there and just pick whatever event you want to have there whatever countdown you want to have on that place of course the countdowns can be created by simply opening the app and last but not least this one is really interesting it allows you to type anything you want on your lock screen of course as long as it's not longer than four letters so this is right here this is the default that you will get when you install the app and all you have to do here is tap on customize go to add widgets and just make sure you find current and just add the letters here and you can also add a bigger one in which you can actually add a phrase so this is pretty cool so to create this you will need to go into the app and you can see what we have right here you can tap on plus and add new characters and then you can use those characters on the lock screen or you can just add a phrase here and of course have it on your lock screen so let me just tell you how it works so once you have added the characters that you need there you can go here and just tap there and just choose the character that you want to display on that place and that way create any word you want on your lock screen so that's it for this video guys these are 10 apps that offer lock screen widgets for your ios 16 device and i believe you must have these on your device of course this is a new feature and apps are still being updated to offer lock screen widgets there will be a ton of those so i will do 
more videos in the future so make sure you subscribe for that of course leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot and i'll see you on the next one